Hi there, I'm Shannon Gregory of Microcell Sciences. I do live and layered blood cell microscopy here in Oakville, and we have nine locations ranging across the GTA, working like a blood lab for you and naturopathic doctors. I wanted to touch base today in regards to Lyme disease. There's a lot of questions in regards to Lyme and live blood and what can be seen. Um, and it is a major thing that is very prevalent if you know what you're looking for in live blood. Uh, because we're looking at the red blood cells and the mitochondria of the blood cells, this enables us to see the different pathogens and co-infections that is connected to Lyme. So let me just rewind a little bit. We have ticks, we have spiders, we have mosquitoes, we have vectors, and these vectors that cross the blood barrier can carry viruses and bacteria. And that's only because they're biting some of the other types of animals that carry these types of viruses. Now here in Canada, we don't have a very good Lyme disease test. Unfortunately, it does have a very low success rate um, when you run through Western medicine. What I do find my tool is amazing for is screening that if there has been some kind of vector bite. It is very prevalent in live blood, uh, what it looks like, and there's only a few pathogens that actually represent how that bacteria looks. So it's very, very specific from what we're looking at in the actual microbiome and terrain. There's also, with Lyme disease, a few other things that are layered on top. Often we see mycotoxins, and that is molds and types of bacteria that has turned into more of a biofilm type toxin in the body. So we need to see through the live blood sample how much of, we, of that do we have in the actual terrain and how much biofilms do we have to address um, in the terrain of the blood. The immune system is also really important because if you've had a vector bite, they also can have some certain types of infections that does attack the immune. Um, Ehrlichia is one, and that's one that we even see from people traveling to Mexico and foreign countries because that can come from a mosquito bite. This immobilizes the immune system um, and does create a lot of different skin and digestion issues. We know what to do with these pathogens because I do have 60 different doctors that refer to us that prescribe and use herbal medicine um, to eradicate a lot of these um, infections. I have become really, really good at what I need to do to clear some of these infections or refer you to the appropriate doctor that can help you with that. So we'd love to see you for a live blood appointment. Um, it's not scary, it's very motivating, it's very eye-opening, and it's nice to get the puzzle piece and some of the pieces together of what's going on in your body on a microbiome standpoint. Mm -hmm.